Hey there, it's Christian from Seven Gamer Network, and uh, well, I've been working on this little deck here, uh, and I thought I'd show it to you. So this is um, Elite Krennic Elite Balatique, and uh, this is going up um, against a uh, Ray uh, Double Padawan um, little setup here. Um, so uh, really, the reason I picked out um, these two is. <clears throat> Well, Krennic is 19 uh, and uh, at Elite, and of course Balatik is uh, an 11. So that seems to me a really nice way to get our four um, dice. Uh, I really like to play, if I can, with four character dice. Uh, this seems like a very strong pairing. Also bringing yellow in with the red means we, we have some options to be able to put out lots of damage or to now have some control because there's a lot of new control uh, in the um, Spirit of Rebellion red. Um, so looking at my hand here, um, I mean, I'm not too fussed on the infamous going really early, uh, so I think I'll probably get rid of that one. I think I keep Tactical Mastery probably to, to sort of get a really nice fast start. No, I don't. I get rid of that. I want the promotion, and, I, and I'm keeping the infamous so that <laughs> I can play it early. These are early builds. You know what it's like when you first build a deck. Sometimes you're not exactly sure what you want to keep and what you want to get rid of. Um, so what I have got here though is, is quite a nice little curve there. I've got uh, two nice control cards in Electroshock. I've got a promotion which is really nice on Krennic. Um, and we've got the F11D um, so I can start getting some damage out there. Now just, just so you get an idea of kind of how good Krennic can be. If I win this roll I start with the battlefield. So I'm going to get the Death Trooper die. So he's going to be three dice. Now I can actually then of course play my F11D in the first round. And I'm going to have four dice, all of which can chuck out damage. It becomes really, really powerful. Uh, so I do win the roll here across these two dice. We've got um, we've got quite a good number of, of twos, especially on Krennics. So it's not too hard to to win, especially with the fact that we've got two Balatik dice. So um, and and this is actually literally my first game with this deck and with this build. So I was not really sure how it was going to go. I've got the um, the Scarif. Uh, battlefield that allows you to when you take it you can resolve three uh, I think it is the, the one that allows you to resolve three um, ranged uh, dice as you claim it um, so what I've done here is I've gone for the promotion first um, largely because I quite fancy I, I know that going against Ray and two Padawans that can be really spiky it can put a lot of damage out uh, and I don't, really don't want to be losing um, Balatik on the first turn so that's why I've kept one back for the electroshock. Um, so uh, here, I think it's um, it's a case of getting my death trooper in and probably rolling out Krennic and seeing what happens. So here we can see first activation, and he's rolling four dice. That's quite quite scary. I have of course forgotten that Ray has her <laughs> her extra um, uh, action from having played out an upgrade, um, and he's actually going to activate Ray, and we'll see what he's got there. Because, of course, that full speed, um, which is such a great card, I'm really strong. I think it keeps blue fast enough because there's lots of other fast stuff going on. Uh, it's really fascinating how when you first see a card in isolation, you know, our reaction to full speed generally in the community was, oh, my goodness, it's completely busted. But, of course, actually having seen the whole lot, it, it actually just feels like, oh, OK, this is just fairly... It's still really powerful. It's still really super good, but I think it's going to keep blue in the game against some of these other very fast decks with, you know, fast hands going off and, and all those kind of things. Now I rolled Krennic, and he actually rolled uh, he rolled three damage straight up, quite nice. But I don't really want to use that. I want to see what I can, what if I can max out my damage here. So I've got uh, another another one. I don't have to worry about force direct force misdirection here because. He's not showing any range damage, so I can kind of go for this. And remember, I can claim by resolving up to three of my dice showing range damage. So that just helps with this deck claiming it more quickly. I mean, I could take it now um, and, and deal four damage. <laughs> I've got a lot more to do before that happens. So Arzuf is getting his um, very, very cheap lightsaber over there, which is still such a good, um, a, a good play, uh, such a good ability of, of that build. Uh, and I think I'm looking at playing out, uh, discard the infamous for a reroll here. So we'll keep all the damage, and we're going to see if we can maximise 
the damage by rolling uh, this other three here. Now we roll the two and the plus two and the two. Now that is a good roll. <laughs> you got, you have to acknowledge that's a very good roll. I mean, the, the averages out of that is that you probably have got two or three damage out of that, um, not six. So that was really nice. I mean, it's not normal for Krennic to roll his two side. That's a one in six. Uh, the Death Trooper, he's more likely to generate two, that's fine. And of course, um, Balatik's probably going to roll um, one damage on average uh, with his one and his plus two. So, um, so I am slightly above the odds here, absolutely acknowledging that. But of course, the difficulty is when you add it all together, that's actually, um, we've got two, four, six, eight. We've got ten damage, we've got a dead ray there. Now, I've got to say, guys, on the first round, that's pretty scary. Getting to roll in that extra Death Trooper die is really, really big. So, he rolls caution, remove one of your character dice, even with the character three shields. He's kind of acknowledging here, I think, that Ray's going to cop it. Um, and so, he's just defending one of his other Padawans, um, which I, I think is, is probably a good move here. Um, but, yeah, I'm just going to resolve all of that. I don't really have to worry even about um, trying to take the battlefield in this action. It's just going to be a dead ray. I mean, that that is pretty scary. <laughs> and of course, Balatik untaps. And this is what I feel like you can get with this deck. If you, if you, especially if you win that first roll and you get the battlefield, it's very easy to get um, for a four die roll from Krennic in his first activation. Maybe even you could get a five. If you drew like, you know, two baby blasters, you could put both of those out and be rolling five dice on him in the first turn and then roll Balatik for seven dice in the first turn. I mean, it's, that's big. That's really big. So I, I think this deck can come at you really fast. Um, and that's a really good example uh, because a dead ray in the first round now, of course, two Padawans is still strong. Uh, he can have some cheap lightsab lightsabers. They're going to have some good upgrades. But he is going to be fighting, um, you know, really on the back foot now, having lost his elite character. Um, so, I, I mean, even if we change my, my, th my those three dice that I re-rolled, uh, which re-rolled into six damage, okay, which was obviously very good, maybe if we change that to, say, it rolled to two or to three damage... Um, well, with the damage that I had out already, I mean, that's still going to be a dead Padawan. So, um, and that's, that's, that's still one character down in the first round. Uh, so any deck that has the possibility of doing that, um, and I don't think it's completely unrealistic. You can manage that with the kind of uh, die faces that we're seeing on things like uh, Death Trooper, um, on a Balatik. Uh, Balati, you know, he's got his own damage and he's got focus of course which you can focus Krennic's dice to, to, to two so um, the only thing with Krennic of course is he's slightly unfocused he does have a number of things that he can do with his disrupt and his discard and his damage and his resources um, so having a little bit of focus around i.e. a promotion on him is really nice I think I actually forgot to draw my card off promotion as well in that uh, in that previous round so um, of course I'm going to play at the F11D rifle uh, that's going to be his primary and here we go look start of the second round and uh, in his rolling five he could very easily be rolling six at the start of this second round now now this is an example of a roll where it's very controlly roll we've got discard we've got a bit of focus there off that promotion uh, the death trooper unfortunately has rolled his Disrupt side, which I'm not really interested in at this stage, but the two discards could be strong, and yeah, he, he's getting out his upgrade because of that. Um, now, I think because I did so much damage in that first round, I'm kind of feeling like I could probably really do with going for more damage. No, I used the discard, here we go. So, and I think that's probably the right play. He has to catch up with me now in dishing out damage. So at this stage, I get rid of his cards. He's going to find it considerably more difficult to be able to keep up with me. Um, and look at that. I discarded two cards and he managed to keep hold of his Makashi. 
and he didn't spend uh, his resources. Um, that's yeah, and and you, he didn't uh, use his. I mean, I'd use my uh, one with the force there to get that first one out, but uh, there we go. So, uh, so we still have no damage. We've got the plus two here that I've rolled out, but we'll see. He's rolling out as Makashi training lightsaber Padawan, which is quite nice. Oh, there we go. So that's five damage. That's a long way to kill enough the Balatik at this stage. Great. I'm just going to, I think, Electroshock. Or do I just, he doesn't like you on this. I'm going to be bold and unpredictable it. I think I am. Uh, I mean, in a play like this, I mean, he hasn't got any resources. So, I mean, I could actually just remove his resource die, uh, remove his character die. Um, I think I'd probably, I think I'd probably do that now. You know what it's like sometimes when you're playing a new deck, you, you work through a, a few things all at once. So I am going to Electroshock. Yeah, absolutely character die. Um, he's got to see if he can get that resource now off, uh, off one of these. It's just slowing him down, and I'm quite happy with that. He hasn't rolled it. He has rolled the focus, though, and he does have potential six, six damage if he could uh, get some way of changing that. So let's see what we do here. Um, maybe a he doesn't like you. And I'm going to take off the prom the promote. No, no, I'm discarding to re-roll. I haven't got any damage to worry about at the moment, so that's why I'm hitting that. Uh, what do I roll? I roll into some oh some some decent damage there. So we get a two for one on the F11D, the two on the Death Trooper. That's a fairly fine roll, and then the one on Balatik. So added to the plus two that we already have, and suddenly we got seven damage on the table, and that's nearly a dead Padawan. This is what I mean. It's like this deck with its basic dice can roll into some really nice damage, um, and and I do think that promotion with the focus. I mean, I, I can I can focus Krennic to his two side, and I can pay for all of that, and that is going to be a, a dead paddle one here. So I mean, I mean, there's a lot of strength here. I mean, of course, if if he'd had dodges. Um, or force misdirections with some guns showing. I mean, that changes everything, um, and it can be really painful then. But uh, I mean, this is really strong to be able to do ten damage first round, um, and and then still chucking out really good damage here. And it's really coming from the fact that Krennic is is able to get so many dice out really very quickly if you've got that battlefield. So I focus Krennic to his two. Now, so unless he's got some way of mitigating some of this damage here, um, you know, I've got uh, nine damage showing, so I can kill off the um, Padawan uh, that's uh, got that one shield on. And, I mean, it's, I mean, it really is brutal. It's pretty devastating. Uh, I was actually surprised at just uh, how quickly and how brutally it was able to dish the damage out here. Um and, and, and really it was just the focus from the promotion or rolling its own damage um, and uh, you know, having the F11D rifle out as well knowing that they're going to focus on Krennic having the redeploy there which is going to go to Balatik um, I also think that most of the time your opponent realises they're going to have to focus on Krennic and having an elite Balatik there who's then just going to pick up those redeploy weapons Oh, I mean, it's really, really strong. So, anyway, here we go. I pay for, I pay for all that lot and kill off that um, that other paddle one there. And um, yeah, poor Azuf is withering under the onslaught of yeah decent rolls, um, but yeah, we, we've got so much damage coming out. Now, Krennic's on seven damage. Um, uh, and this is where, again, Red's got these beautiful cards in it, like Dug In, um, which is just so strong. Um, you know, I think I'll, I think I end up drawing into that. Um, I claim, even though Balatik untapped, not too fussed on the two, on the two dice with him. Um, I'm like, yeah, I'll just claim. I think I'd actually rather just keep the Death Trooper die around. <laughs> Um, so here we see um, 
we have them now. So this is a, another new Spirit of Rebellion card, which is really strong. Now it costs two, so it's not cheap, but it allows you to turn up to four dice to show, um, show damage. Really, really strong in a deck like this. Um, as I said, one of the slight drawbacks of Krennic is that he's only got that one, admittedly very good, to black damage side. Um, so anything that we can have that allows us to smooth that out or to get it on a more frequent basis uh, becomes really strong in this deck. And um, I decide, look, I'm just going to roll because I'm going to use We Have Them Now rather than get out the rifle. If for some reason I don't need to use We Have Them Now, that's fine. I can put the rifle out onto um, Balatik. That's not the end of the world. Um, and he... I suppose is he, he needs to play an upgrade if you've got something else. I mean, I mean he, he is back against the wall here. I feel like we have them now as a card that is going to finish games for you. Uh, if, if it had Ambush, that would be amazing. Um, but uh, that would be too strong. And I think it would be more expensive, a lot more expensive then. Um, and I think what we're seeing with them having put that play only if you control the battlefield on um, is again is just a, a further reason for me to sort of forego worrying about Balatik activating again just get the battlefield um, so many of the cards in this deck are just stronger when you are um, having the battlefield getting that death trooper die in which is so much more damage um, let's uh, let's see what I decide to go for here because he's played out a very good card I think that that Bow is a really good card. Yeah, I'm just going to get Balatik out. Give myself, hopefully, some more damage. Okay. So next turn, it feels like we're going to get the big... We have them now, which certainly feels like it. This poor last Padawan. Um, and what's he rolled? Um, he's rolled four damage, um, which isn't quite enough to kill Krennic. So I don't think... Yes, I mean, like an unpredictable that it'll, chances are it's not going to roll into its uh, melee damage again. And now I can play, uh, why have I lost the resource? What cost me a resource along the way there? He didn't do a disrupt, did he? No, of course not. That's very strange. Felt like I started that round with two, and, and then somewhere along the line, I didn't have two, because I could have unpredictabled. I'll have to watch it back over, but I could have unpredictabled and then played. We have them now, which is really quite nice. Help to deal with the threat that's incoming, and then create a really nice big threat. Uh, okay, he's rolled a special, which is a little scary, but actually it doesn't matter too much. I can do. We have them now. Uh, and yeah, I mean, he's going to get two, I think I'll turn Krennic to his two, and Balatik to his plus two, um, and then him to his plus two as well, look, I mean, ugh, look at that, super strong, and, and that's it, that has the ability to create eight damage, I mean, it's such a big finisher, that card. Um, if, if you're playing fast with Krennic, I, I mean, you can leave, you know, there's a good example, Balatik, his ability, I just didn't even use it, I didn't even take advantage of it. Now, if I had an upgrade or two on Balatik, I probably would have done, but the advantage of keeping the battlefield and then drawing into cards like that, this, I, I think this is a, a really good example of how, with Spirit of Rebellion, there is the potential for a meta change in that sense of you know the battlefield has become even more powerful. It's become even more important, um, and uh, and so yeah, I think if you're coming up against characters like Krennic, you probably need to be paying quite a bit more attention um, to to uh, claiming the battlefield or stopping your opponent uh, from claiming the battlefield in some way. So uh, yeah, anyway. There's an example of Krennic Bala. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and uh, yeah, there'll be more to come, guys. 
Um, if you haven't already, check out swdestiny.com, um, who are very kindly hosting Seven Gaming Network and uh, putting out some great articles for your perusal. Um, and if you want to get in touch with me, you can get in touch with me on the Knights of Ren Discord channel. Um, my name is Peace Lord on there. And uh, uh, hey, if you enjoyed this content and you'd like to um, have some more of it, um, then uh, I've got a Patreon available. Um, and of course, uh, if you join in, become a Patreon. Well, there's all sorts of cool rewards on there. Uh, but it will help me to be making uh, more of this kind of content available for you. So, anyway, until next time, keep enjoying Destiny. Mm -hmm.